Genesis GV70 Expert Review We adored the Genesis brand's first compact sedan enough to name it our 2019 car of the year, when the Korean luxury automaker applied a similar formula to the compact luxury SUV segment with the GV70, we named it our 2022 SUV of the year. Not bad for a first effort. The GV70 isn't offering any major changes to the SUV we know and love for its second year, but Genesis has confirmed a fully electric version is coming soon. Main competitors include the Acura RDX, Volvo XC60, and Lexus NX, and the electric GV70 will square off against the Tesla Model Y and Volvo C40 Recharge. Let's cut to the chase, the GV70 is a fantastic SUV and, at least for the time being, the best vehicle in its segment. During last year's SUV of the Year evaluations, the compact Genesis was comfortable and engaging on any road surface, with athletic handling that didn't come at the cost of ride quality. It's a joy to drive, even if you're not the kind of buyer to cane it through twisty roads. The cabin also impresses, with both its design and its quality. Technology is impressive, with standout features including a fingerprint scanner capable of starting the vehicle and a digital instrument cluster with three-dimensional gauges. There's plenty of rear seat space, too, due in part to the carved out front seat backs. The GV70 also provides more cargo space behind its rear seats than almost any of its competitors. Genesis knocked it out of the park with this one. Sure, the brakes can be a little grabby and fuel economy isn't segment best, but as a package, this is a product any prospective luxury SUV buyer would be foolish to ignore. The GV70 offers the same 4 and 6 cylinder engine options as the Genesis G80 and GV80. Both options are paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission and standard AWD. Base models come equipped with a 2.5 liter turbocharged i4 delivering 300 horsepower and 311 pounds to foot of torque, which, in our testing, motivated the GV70 to 60 miles per hour in a respectable 6.0 seconds. Fuel economy numbers for the four-cylinder read 22 28 of a mile per gallon city slash highway. For those seeking more power under the hood, Genesis builds the GV70 with a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6. That engine develops 375 horsepower and 311 pounds to foot of torque. When we tested a GV70 3.5T, it reached 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, but fuel efficiency with the V6 drops to 1924 to 26 miles per gallon. Genesis has announced it will build an all-electric version of the GV70 for 2023, which will slot above the automaker's smaller GV60F. It will only be available with a single powertrain consisting of electric motors front and rear with a combined output of 483 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque, which will make it the most powerful GV70. Genesis claims a range of 249 miles based on the Korean F certification system, and a maximum charge rate of 350 kilowatts means it will be able to charge from 10 to 80 percent in as little as 18 minutes. Although the GV70 hasn't been evaluated by the NHDSA, buyers can take comfort in knowing it achieves the highest possible designation of 2022 top safety pick plus from the FS. Genesis includes more driver assist active safety features than its competition, too, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, and rear and side cross traffic alert are all standard. Higher trims add Genesis Highway Driving Assistant Lane Centering and Adaptive Cruise, plus blind spot cameras, rear automatic braking, rear occupant alert, automatic park assist, and emergency evasive steering. Compared to two of its closest peers, the GV70 has loads of space. The Genesis boasts more legroom front and rear than either the BMW X3 or Lexus NX, and the amount of cargo space behind the second row seats bests nearly every SUV in the segment. That said, if you need maximum carrying capability and can leave the rear seat empty, the X3 has more space with the rears folded down. No matter what trim you choose. There's a 14.5-inch touchscreen infotainment system at the center of every GV70. Lower trims get an 8.0-inch instrument cluster display, but the Sport Prestige variants feature a 12.3-inch fully digital 3D gauge cluster. 
All models get a wireless charging pad and USB ports front and rear, and higher trims feature Lexicon Premium Audio. One unique feature, the GV70's interior fingerprint scanner can stand in for the key to start or stop the engine, and it can even pay for fuel at certain gas stations. For our money, we'd recommend the GV72.5D Sport Prestige. You won't give up much in terms of performance by opting for the 4-cylinder, and with the money you'll save over the V6, the Sport Prestige trim yields all the tech, style, and luxury Genesis has to offer. It's a winner.